Hard science doesn't just take place in the lab, and it's not only scientists doing it. Anyone and everyone can contribute to scientific progress, and you don't have to go any farther than your own backyard. Citizen science is a movement to engage the public in the collection of scientific data. That data is used by scientists on things ranging from climate change to penguin populations. Today, I'm going to talk about a few of the amazing ways you can contribute to botanically oriented citizen science projects. One of the biggest plant-oriented citizen science projects is Project Budburst, a USA-based phenology study. Phenology is the study of the timing of biological events like flowering. So Project Budburst asks you to track the flowering, budding, leafing out, and color changes of plants in your area. To participate, simply print out a form from their website. You can track a plant ongoing throughout the year with a regular report form, or you can just look at one plant one time with a single report form like I'm using. Then simply get outside and find a plant to observe. If identifying plants isn't your forte, you can pick up a field guide, look online, or use online guides. If you're in the New England area, I highly recommend Go Botany by the New England Wildflower Society. And if none of those work for you, you can take a photo, post it to Twitter or Tumblr, and some plant folks might be able to help you out there. Once you've filled out your form, you submit that information to the Project Budburst website. Then scientists can access that data and use it for all sorts of studies. If, like me, you really like pollinators, you can observe pollinators for the Great Sunflower Project. The Great Sunflower Project originally started with lemon queen sunflowers, but you can observe pollinators visiting any plant. To participate, simply find a flowering plant to observe and count how many pollinators visit it over a given period of time. This can be anywhere from a few minutes to as long as you like. You should identify the pollinator if you can and then input that information into their website. You can check out the link below for more details and information on how you can do that. There are also other pollinator citizen science projects like Bumblebee Watch, which I'll also link in the description. If heading outside isn't an option for you, you can still contribute to science through online crowdsourcing projects. The website Zooniverse is a database of crowdsourcing projects with a devoted community. You can count kelp forests, analyze the tail patterns of whales, or transcribe old orchid specimen labels. There are enough projects that you can browse through and find one that interests you, and they all have tutorials to guide you through what you need to do. I hope today's video inspired you to donate some time to a citizen science project. With just a little bit of your time, you can make a big difference in scientific research. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thank you to my supporters over on Patreon, who are helping Brilliant Botany grow. If you'd like to join us, you can click through the link for more information. You pledge a monthly amount and get awesome perks in return. On this end screen, you can also find links to merch and to my blog. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos every Wednesday. It's a great laid-back activity that you can do while you're just chilling and watching Netflix. Do not say Netflix and chill.